عبد الرحمن بن فيصل واليوم راح نتكلم عن selecting the ventilator and the mood Today I will talk about non-invasive ventilation, invasive ventilation, fully and partially ventilatory support, types of breath delivery, and modes of ventilation. We will start with what is the non-invasive ventilation. As delivery of ventilatory support to the lungs without using endotracheal or tracheostomy tube. Uh, is the photo and uh, the common modes are CBAB and BIBAB CBAB is BIBAB CBAB applies continuous pressure to have a baseline BIBAB applies pressure during expiratory phase greater than the pressure during expiratory uh, continuous uh, positive airway pressure CBAB by level positive airway pressure pipe hub now we'll talk about the advantage and communication the first and more important advantage is it non-invasive no need to insert anything inside the body comfort can be applied intermediately less need of sedation avoid complications of endotracheal tubes or albatency and the complications are mask discomfort, facial skin ulcer, leak, gastric insufflation, aspiration, and nasal and oral dryness. Clinical conditions and weaning. The most clinical conditions will have improvement with non invasive are acute deviation, high proximity respiratory failure. Cardiogenic pulmonary edema, weaning from the non invasive and the chronic care. Weaning from non invasive ventilation may occur within hours or few days. IPAB gradually reduced to the minimal level. If work of breathing vital signs ABG are acceptable, mask can be taken off. Risk factors for non invasive ventilation failure. Reduced level of consciousness, pH less than 7.25, respiratory rate more than 35, agitation, excessive secretion, poor tolerance, no initial improvement within the first two hours of non invasive ventilation. What is invasive ventilation? is delivery of ventilatory support to the lungs using the endotracheal or tracheostomy tubes. Full and partial ventilatory support. Fully support, ventilator will provide the, all the energy to maintain effective alveolar ventilation. Partially support, Ventilator will provide small energy with the presence of patient work of a breath to maintain effective alveolar ventilation. Type of breath delivery Mandatory, which the ventilator control everything. Spontaneous, which the patient will control. Assisted have features of both mandatory and spontaneous breath. All are part of the breath is done by the ventilator. Modes of ventilation. Mandatory modes is a breath only when a patient cannot make effort to breathe because of a drug spinal cord or phrenic nerve injury, motor nerve paralysis. Spontaneous modes. With this mode, patients can breathe alone through ventilatory circuit without receiving any mandatory breaths. Assisted modes. is like mandatory, but although the patient can trigger breaths, but the set volume or pressure is the delivered same with each breath.
controlled mandatory ventilation. Ventilator delivers the set tidal volume or pressure. Patient cannot trigger. Indication scissors. Trauma uh, stops effort to breathe. Complications muscle atrophy, dyssynchrony. Uh, Assist control. Ventilator deliver the set tidal volume or pressure and the patient can trigger. Indication fully ventilatory support. Provides ventilation when spontaneous efforts are weak. Complication can cause alveolar hyperventilation. SIMV Ventilator delivers the set tidal volume or pressure and the patient can take spontaneous breaths between them. Patient can trigger indication maintain respiratory muscle strength facilitating weaning This IMV window as you see here we set the rate uh, on 6 and the uh, breath cycle on 3 so we will calculate the total cycle 60 over 6 from here it will give us 10 seconds then we pull, we set the, the breath cycle mechanical cycle 3 seconds so 10 is the total cycle and 3 is the uh, mandatory cycle will give us the spontaneous cycle or spontaneous time is 7 seconds so the patient can take spontaneous breath in this 7 seconds spontaneous modes the ventilation, uh, ventilation is triggered from the patient, no mandatory breaths. Two common uh, types, pressure support ventilation and continuous positive airway pressure. If the patient stops triggering uh, apnea, uh, the ventilator will switch to the backup mode. If the patient stops triggering apnea, the ventilator will switch to the backup mode. راح يحول الجهاز الى الباك اب مود او المود الاحتياطي هذه الخاتمه ويعطيكم العافيه استقبل الاسئله وتعليقاتكم واذا كان عند اي احد ملاحظه او في خطا في البرزنتيشن قولوا لي في الخاص وشكرا للمجموعه لانها تاحت لي هذه الفرصه